to this episode of Ask the Expert. My name is Laurens and I'm System Architect and Product Manager of the TrueConvert series at Trumfittinger. Today we will look into some of the challenges of microgrids such as stability, power regulation and scalability. So let us start with an overview of a typical microgrid. A microgrid usually consists of multiple energy sources such as PV, battery storage systems, wind turbines and traditionally diesel generator sets. Alongside those AC sources, you will find AC loads such as households or charging stations, for example. Depending on the application, a grid connection point may be available. For the sake of simplicity, we will only look into off-grid operation today, relevant if the grid is not available or unstable. So who is in charge of stability in such a microgrid? In conventional off-grid applications, large rotational masses of diesel generator sets offer inertia and hence stabilized voltage and frequency. With the ambition to transfer to renewable energy sources, the share of fossil energy sources will continue to reduce or even diminish altogether in the near future. So what will happen if we just remove the stabilizing inertia? As inverter-based distributed energy resources do not inherently offer inertia, maintaining stability in a microgrid without rotational masses becomes critical. An intuitive approach to this challenge is to mimic the behavior of large generators and come up with a control scheme that lets the inverter behave similar to a traditional generator. This concept is also called virtual synchronous machine. We at Trumpf achieved this by integrating a virtual impedance accompanied by droop control for voltage and frequency. This allows the microgrid to operate in a stable manner even at high energy fluctuation. Now let's talk about power regulation. As an electric grid cannot store energy, production and consumption need to be balanced in order to reach an energy equilibrium. This is a key requirement for robust operation. Depending on the size and extent of the microgrid, this can become very complex. One approach to this is to have a powerful energy management system take care of it by constantly balancing and monitoring all sources and loads. This, however, reduces flexibility within the microgrid and makes upscaling tricky. Here is where our advanced grid sustaining control scheme comes into play. With its droop control feature, it behaves similar to a conventional generator that most distributed energy resources are compatible with. If we, for example, picture a scenario with strong PV injection and low power consumption within the microgrid, excess energy will be used to charge up the battery. If PV power exceeds the rated power of the battery inverter, its droop control will automatically raise the grid frequency. The PV inverter in return will realize this increase in frequency and hence throttle its injected power, similar to the way it would behave in a conventional grid. As you just saw, the system regulates power all by itself. Last but not least, let's talk about scalability and redundancy. Typically, in a microgrid, there's one source in grid forming operation, also called voltage source mode. This source controls frequency and voltage of the grid. All other sources act as current sources like PV or wind turbines. If at a later stage, the grid forming inverters need to be upgraded, conventionally high speed communication is required in order to synchronize all grid forming inverters and have them run in a master slave configuration. Our control scheme reduces this effort. With its droop control and virtual impedance, no extra communication bus is required. Scalability is simplified. Additionally, this individual operation increases redundancy within the microgrid. Want to scale up an existing microgrid? The true convert inverter also works alongside conventional V-mode inverters. Again, no communication bus required. As we saw today, there are ways to reduce complexity within the microgrid. In the next video, we will talk about droop control for DC grids. Thanks for watching and see you next time.